What's up guys? It's your boy DJ Avionics back with another video tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do that brush glow effect that you saw in the intro using Final Cut Pro X on my MacBook Pro. But before we go any further, a little word from our sponsor, DB Line. This video is sponsored by DB Line. DB Line is a clothing and merchandise line for the DJ, for musicians, for music lovers, for photographers, for videographers, for content creators like a lot of you are, and for gamers. Visit dbline at dbline.equid.com. You can also find dbline on Instagram at dblinemerch. Also on Facebook at dblinemerchandise. All right, now we're back. And like I said, this is for Final Cut Pro X, and this brush glow effect is actually a plugin that you will have to purchase off of pixelfilmstudios.com. Little disclosure, I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated with Pixel Film Studio. I purchased this plugin myself. They did not give this to me for free. I bought it from their website. I have the link to the plugin in my video description down below, but if you go to the website pixelfilmstudios.com and hit the magnifying glass over here on the right, and just simply type in brush glow. Oops, brush glow. What the hell's a brush? Brush glow. There it is, FCPX Brush Glow Plugin. It's fairly inexpensive, it's only $29.95. It's a drawing tool for Final Cut Pro X, and this is the plugin that you will need in order to make that effect. All right, now let's go into Final Cut Pro. All right, so after you've purchased the plugin and installed it, open up Final Cut Pro X, and it's located under the Generators category over here. Just simply click on Titles Generators button and then Generators. You can browse or just make it easier on yourself and type in Brush Glow. There we go. We have our different presets for different resolutions. You got 4K, 5K, 720p, 1080p, and phone type resolution, I guess. So depending on what the resolution of your video clip is, you want to drag and drag that uh, preset right on top. So we are currently at 1080p, 29.97 frames per second. So we're gonna drag the 1080p right on top of our video clip like so. Okay, so we're gonna wanna trim the brush glow um, length to the same length of our video clip. So simply move your cursor over to the edge of your, your brush glow clip. That's the trim cursor. Simply click and drag and it should snap to the end of your video clip. If you don't have snapping on, the shortcut for snapping is pressing the N on the keyboard. Okay, so now what we want to do here is we want to bring our playhead all the way to the beginning and then go over to the right on the uh, inspector panel and we want to click the generators inspector control panel and here we go. We have our parameters for the brush glow. You can choose the different color so let's go ahead and choose a different color. We'll make, um, since we're using Superman, let's use a red. Let's go ahead and offset all that blue and complement the red on the logo. So go ahead and choose that. And then I'm going to, I'm just gonna leave everything at default. You can play around with that later. Now to get this effect, keep, in, keep a couple things in mind. That save canvas button, that is going to be your best friend, okay? Because if you simply draw all your frames out and then you exit Final Cut Pro, it does not save all your drawings. You need to save early and save often and hit that save canvas. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on our timelines. So hit Command Plus to zoom in. And we're basically gonna be drawing on every single frame. So we have less than four seconds. So do the math, four times 30, 120 frames. We're not gonna sit here and draw out every, every frame. I'm just simply going to draw out the first few frames and then speed up the rest of the drawings and saving early and saving often, as I mentioned. And then we will take it from there. So let's go ahead and draw our first frame. We're going to start it right 
right where I go pop my elbow right there and basically you just mouse over your um, over the preview see here you'll see a little cursor of your arrow and then a little circle now I didn't start at the very beginning I started about I don't know 13 frames in right here okay so that's our first now just press the right arrow key to move frame by frame and we're simply just going to draw draw that little worm crawling on us every time around my arms moving it ever so slightly Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit save canvas, save early, save often. Canvas saved, hit continue. Now you can continue with your drawings. If you if you lost where you're at, just use the left arrow key and you can see where you have to continue. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish out drawing that little red worm crawling as I pop and lock. Okay, so I just saved the last frame of my canvas. So there's a hundred, there's less than 120 frames, but I didn't draw in every single frame. I probably drew for about maybe two seconds worth. So it's about 60 frames or so, maybe even less. So if we rewind our playhead, let's see how everything turned out. Spacebar is our preview shortcut button. And there you have it, folks. That is how you make that brush glow effect. Just make sure you save early, save often. And that's pretty much it. That's how you produce that effect using the FCPX brush glow plugin from pixelfilmstudios.com. Once again, the link is down below in the description. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. If this video tutorial helped you to create that brush glow effect to your video of choice, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button down right here. Please hit that subscribe button right over here. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great, wonderful day. See you in the next video.